brand new food stamp programs are now available to low-income residents in several states. With the end of emergency SNAP allotments, several people are struggling to locate low-cost food amid the recent massive rises in food, gas, and energy costs. What's going on, my friends? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Money Millennial. The program, also known as food stamps, is jointly overseen by federal and state authorities, meaning that the delivery of the support varies across the country. In California, for example, the program is known as CalFresh, a state-supervised and county-operated initiative. California has no asset or resource limit for SNAP benefits, but does have eligibility requirements on both gross and net income. The gross income limit is 200% of the federal poverty level, while the net figure is 100%. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons. This information changes on an almost daily basis, and it's my job to keep you informed with the latest updates. So make sure you watch every single video and watch all the way through so you don't miss out on the most current information. According to LA Times, nearly 3 million California households will no longer receive extra CalFresh benefits given during the pandemic. The average CalFresh recipient is expected to lose $82 per month and the average household about $200 per month. Gross income is the combined total of all household income before taxes have been accounted for. Gross income includes any earnings from work, along with income from any disability, child support, unemployment, or pension programs. Here are the gross income limits based on the size of your household. If the household gross income exceeds these levels, but it includes an elderly or disabled member, the household may be able to qualify if it satisfies only the net income requirements. Net income is the household's gross income minus deductions, which includes taxes and a number of deductions specific to the SNAP benefits program in California. Eligible deductions include child support payments, medical expenses, utility payments, phone allowance and essential costs like rent or mortgage payments. To access your eligibility, use a SNAP eligibility calculator which you can easily find online. The final amount that you will be able to receive from SNAP benefits is based on your net income and the number of people in your household. As a general rule, for every additional $100 in net household income, your SNAP benefits allowance will fall by $30. In the state of Maryland, Giant Food revealed today its partnership with the city of Baltimore that will help residents with SNAP and EBT benefits save on produce throughout Baltimore. The program supports access to produce at a time when federal rollbacks of SNAP emergency allotments have compelled individuals to further stretch their food dollars. This program is made possible by funds from the American Rescue Plan Act. The partnership will offer a $15 promo code to eligible households which will be accessible through Giant Pickup and Giant Delivers orders placed online. The code can be redeemed for fresh and frozen fruits and vegetables up to six times over the course of six months. Same day service is available through the company's pickup and delivery services. Purchases made on Giant Delivers between Tuesday and Thursday include zero delivery fees while all other days include a fee of just $3.95 per order. Giant pickup is free. Now, in the state of Kentucky, Governor Andy Beshear announced Monday federal approval to replace food purchased from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program that was lost due to power outages caused by the March 3rd storms. The approval is for food assistance program recipients in 31 counties in Kentucky. SNAP recipients in the following counties who lost food are eligible for replacements. Allen, Anderson, Butler, Clinton, Edmondson, Grant, Grayson, Hancock, Harrison, Hart, Lee, Lincoln, Logan, Marion, Marshall, McCreary, 
Mead, Monroe, Mullenberg, Nelson, Robertson, Russell, Simpson, Spencer, Todd Trigg, Warren, Washington, Wayne, Wolf, and Woodford. 40% replacement of SNAP benefits received February 1st to February 28th will be available starting the morning of Saturday, April 8th. Funds will be available in program members' EBT accounts. SNAP recipients who have already requested and received a manual replacement because of the severe March 3rd storms will not receive an automatic replacement. In the state of New Hampshire, the Peterborough Farmers Market's 2023 season has begun. And this year, the market is accepting SNAP and EBT benefits cards. In addition, the Granite State Market Match Program run through New Hampshire Food Bank is matching all SNAP money taken out at the market with funds that can be used to buy fruits and vegetables from vendors. Now for some good news for the state of New York, which I haven't been talking about a whole lot lately because there hasn't been a whole lot of news coming out of New York lately, but this is one program that you will be very interested in hearing about. The state is expanding its Fresh Connect program for recipients of SNAP food assistance benefits. Previously, if SNAP benefits spent $5 in benefits at a participating farmer's market, they'd get a check for an additional $2 to spend there. But starting this weekend, they'll receive a dollar for dollar match. That's a change that will take place at farmer's markets across New York. To take advantage of the matching program, SNAP recipients need to buy tokens from a stand at the market, which they can spend with vendors. The Fresh Connect checks can be used to buy dairy products, fruit, vegetables, eggs, meat, fish, and more. The expansion of the Fresh Connect program will happen at farmers markets across the state. The intent is to provide low-income New Yorkers better access to fresh, healthy food and to support farmers. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information that you might have about your own state's SNAP benefits or low-income programs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link in the description. All right, guys, stay safe, stay hustling, stay warm, and I will talk to you all again soon.